Hey everyone, I'm Dominique LeRae. Today I'll be talking about four study tips that will help you succeed in clinical laboratory school. So we're gonna get straight into it. The first tip I have is to figure out your specific learning style. But keep in mind, taking time to figure out your learning style is only half the battle. The other half is actually implementing it and putting in the work so that you can be successful. But once you do this, you'll be ready to handle the mass amount of info provided in clinical lab school or most science and STEM based courses in general. For example, I am a visual learner. When people ask me how I study and maintain high grades, all I say is that I read my textbook. Um, I also learn well by visual cues and all of my notes are digital, but this consists of outlines, concept maps, flow charts, anything that would help me organize all the information in my head. Um, keep in mind, this is a lab program, so I perform a lot of lab skills and the hands-on approach helps me see how lab results will align with concepts I'm learning in lecture, like disease states, for instance. And this helps me with um, interpreting you know, lab results and things like that. So I am absolutely not an auditory learner. I zone out constantly in lecture. I miss key information most of the time and especially if it's verbally given. So the great thing about online courses from the pandemic is that mostly all our lectures are pre-recorded. So if I do zone out, I'm able to pause the video, rewind to where I left off and start over. But the issue with this is the 40 minute lecture will take me almost double that time to completely watch it because my attention span is just trash and I'm easily distracted. And it's something I've always dealt with, but I've never, it's never like hindered my experience in college. Um, I've just adapted to my own way of learning. Like I said, I read textbooks. Figure out what works for you. I know for me, I have to sit down and read my textbook from start to finish. And that's what's worked for me now and it's worth, what has worked for me in the past. So next tip is time management is key. I'm finding that it's very important to be proactive on staying on top of due dates and assignments. It's so easy to fall behind and I honestly cannot stress enough the need to be organized. Like if you really need to, get a planner. I use a happy calendar and I use Google Calendar on my phone just so I can stay afloat. They both help me prioritize what I need to work on that current week as well as what's coming up later and I include every single due date in my physical planner from exams and assignments to lab reports, papers, case studies, all of it is in my planner. Um, so yeah, time management in general can also help you figure out when you have time to study for exams so that you don't have to cram because especially in clinical lab school we don't have time to do that. We don't cram. There's so many other things that need to get done, especially if you're like me and you work while you're taking these courses. Like, it's no time to, to be cramming for exams. So the next tip is learning outcomes. So these are for the times where you feel like you don't know what to study or you don't know where to start when you're preparing for exams. Usually professors give learning outcomes for the entire unit, the unit, the chapter, whatever. Um, this is a guide for you to understand what you should be learning and comprehending for your examinations. Um, if they don't do this, you can just read the textbook. Um, that will at least have a learning objectives outlined at the beginning of each chapter so you have an idea of what you'll be tested over or just what you need to understand for the class. But I just know the worst thing is going into an exam and not knowing what the heck it's about to be on. So learning outcomes are very important. My next tip is to do practice exams or practice questions before you go into your test. I think this is a great way to work on test taking strategies. Um, I start with the chapter review questions from the lecture textbook. Then I use Quizlets and stuff like that. And also sometimes look at the CLS review books. They have short and concise notes and a lot of questions to review on. A specific book I like is Medical Lab Science Review by Har. It's organized by a lab department and has objectives that align with my textbook. So I can check my understanding by doing these questions. And if I get them wrong, I know what specific concept I need to review again for better understanding. A good resource that you can use for medical laboratory school is Medicosis Perfectionalis. He is a YouTuber. Um, there's also Osmosis and Khan Academy, but Medicosis has been guiding me when I needed to learn these disease correlations. So yeah, that's just a little tidbit. This is really a tip. This is just kind of like something that might help you, might not, but immerse yourself in the field. Take time to learn what the clinical laboratory field is all about. Keeping up with current events and articles will help bring together all the info that you're learning in class. It's also a great way to see how the theories that you learn in school are being applied in the real world. So yeah, just go online and read news articles, journals, do a quick Google Scholar search on topics that interest you. It may seem like a lot of reading, but most articles are only a few pages long, if any, if that, so. And they should be enjoyable if, you know, that's your true interest, so. 
Yeah. You can also find some medical lab blogs and podcasts online. A good one is Blood Bank Guy. Um, if you're interested in immunohematology or blood banking, um, I'm subscribed to a number of podcasts centered around microbiology since that's my interest. It's really interesting to keep up with how things are changing, especially with Miss Rona since she out here, still out here living her best life a year later, you know? So that's basically it for this video. Um, I know it was mainly geared towards clinical lab students, but you can take these tips and apply them to any projected field of study. Just remember to study smart do your best and keep chugging along. So comment down below any of your study strategies that are helping you in school. And thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with my journey through medical laboratory school.